Coming up on Jocelle's weight transformation. My head is not this big, is it? I'm fearing. Ah! Okay. Oh my gosh, it's uneven. Oh crap. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I can't believe I made a wig. Like, I literally made a wig in it. Holy boots. It's just so welcome back to my channel. First of all, if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. It's right down below. Also, please like this video. Like the video helps my channel grow, so help me out a little bit. Like this video, and anyway, let's get into it. So, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be making my own wig, okay? From scratch, needle and thread, sewing machine type things, okay? And I'm also going to be dyeing it and also laying it for the first time. I only have two wigs, and they don't even fit on my head properly because my head's really big got a big head but i want me a nice lace front frontal closure whatever kind of wig you know what i'm saying and i also really want to dye my hair ginger but i'm scared so i decided that what would be smart is if i made a wig and dyed that wig ginger and then put it on and saw if i liked it and then i'll dye my real hair ginger and also because making a wig looks like really fun and like not easy but i feel like i could do it i've had a lot of experience with sewing machine i love to sew and i love hair so i feel like it's just a good thing i feel like i feel like i'm made for this you know so i'm thinking about splitting this video into three parts first video is going to be me actually constructing the wig second video is going to be me dyeing the wig and the third video is going to be me laying the wig because i don't know how to lay a wig the wigs that I have are not frontal wigs. So I've never laid an actual wig before. So it's gonna be a lot of firsts in this little series. I bought a whole bunch of stuff. I bought everything that I might need to make a wig. So we're gonna do a quick little unboxing. I'm so excited. I've never done an unboxing before. Before I actually unbox the packages, I wanna show you the hair that I got, which is right here. So this hair is Milky Way Saga Gold Remy Yaki in color two, and I think it's 10 inches. Now, whenever I wear any kind of like sew-in or whatever, I usually like it to be a little bit longer Longer. I'm kind of like a 12, 14, 16, 18 kind of girl, but I think it'll still be nice. My mom got this hair from a website called hairtobeauty.com and the hair is so nice and soft. Let me show y'all. Can y'all see how nice and silky this is? It's giving like Brazilian, it's giving silk press type vibes. Like it's some nice hair. And I got two. Each pack comes with two bundles. So it means I have four bundles in total, which should be more than enough. Now let's open up these packages. First package is from Amazon. And this is the closure. I got a closure. Okay. So so this closure is an eight inch closure. Oh, it comes with earrings, that's so cute. A little bit shorter than the actual hair because usually if the hair was 10 inches, the closure would be eight inches. So I feel like that's totally fine. It is a lace front closure. Definitely gonna have to bleach the knots. And this is the hair. Okay, it looks really nice. And it's a free parting, so you get to part it any way you want. So I'm excited about that. I think the closure is like 1B or something. And the hair that I got is color two, but it's not really gonna matter because I'm literally gonna dye the hair anyway. Also, I'll link everything that I can down below. Next package. This one came today, period. Okay, so I got the wig caps. I got the extra large wig cap. I don't really know if my head's that big that I need an extra large, but I said I'd rather be safe than sorry. I'm guessing each individual pack comes with one wig cap, so I can make three wigs out of this, so that's on period. Now on to the boxes. Oh, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Okay. My very first wig. This is the 24 inch wig head. And I did measure it and it measured to 24 inches. My head is not this big, is it? Ugh, I don't know, y'all. Also came with the tools so you can put it on a tripod or like place it onto a table. It came with two wig caps, some clips, some thread, and then the T-pins are in this little package right here. And now this Bickle box, which has everything that I got from the beast of my store. So I got some Edge Booster. I've never tried it before, so I thought this would be the perfect time to try it. Then I got some Got To Be Glue Spray. I just got the small kind, because I'm not gonna be doing wigs that often, so I feel like I could just last with a small one right now. Then I got the Ghost Bond, which I realized after I purchased it that this is probably not the best wig glue to be getting. A lot of people have gotten allergic reactions to this, so kind of wish I did my research before I just went and bought Ghost Bond on, but maybe I can return it. Hopefully I can return it. I got me this cute pink mixing bowl because I love pink as you can probably tell by my bed. So I got a mixing bowl and it came with a nice little brush so that's great. Got me a rat tail comb because I used to have one but I have no idea where it went so I got me another one. And then I got me a brush which honestly I probably won't even use. I might just use my hands but at least I have it you know. The hair tie! 
Okay, so the hair tie that I got is copper brown, cinnamon, and Cajun spice. And it smells good. Oh my gosh. I love it when products smell good. This is the bleach. I just got this Clairol Professional B2 Powder Lightener. At first, I was going to just do developer and the color. I wasn't going to bleach the hair, but I felt like I should probably bleach it. Lastly, I got the Clairol Professional Pure White Cream Developer in Volume 30. I felt like Volume 30 was probably the best idea because of how dark the hair is. 20 is like not strong enough 40 is a little bit too strong so i feel like 30 was like that good little in between obviously <laughs> that's all i have but i'm so excited to do this i feel like i'll do a good job like i said i already have experience sewing and doing a sewing machine and i've done sewing for my mom before so i feel like i would really eat this up i don't know <laughs> i don't know i feel like i would eat we'll see i'll see you guys tomorrow Today is the day that I make my wig. Let's get started. I put this like plastic bag all over the floor just to like cover it. Cause I'm probably gonna do everything in my room and I don't wanna have to bring the tripod from my room to the bathroom back and forth, it's too much work. So this for protection. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is bleach the knots of the closure. So I have all my stuff to bleach the knots. I have watched a couple of videos on how to make wigs. So I'm definitely gonna reference those as I do this. Oh no, I'm just scared. I'm scared, I've never used bleach. I've never even like done dyed my hair by myself. Like I've dyed my hair twice. I dyed it black in like middle school. That don't really count, you know what I mean? This hair, my natural hair has never been dyed at all. I'm fearing. Ah! Okay, let me stop being dramatic. Let me stop, okay. Yeah, please stop being dramatic. But anyway, I opened up my bowl and everything. Oh, gloves, oh my gosh. A lot of the videos said that I should do one scoop to one scoop, so that's what I did. <clears throat> oh my gosh, this smells so bad. Ew. It smelled so bad. I had to put on a mask. But anyway, they said it should be toothpaste consistency, which that is given toothpaste consistency. So I went to it. Y'all, I was so scared. I did not want the bleach to seep through and dye the roots, even though I was going to bleach the hair anyway. But still, I think I let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. So now I'm getting the head out. I'm putting it together. Yo, this head was big. I said, no way. My head is really 24 inches like this. But I just untwisted the little thing there and then twisted it up to sit on this little chair. As y'all saw yesterday here in the wig caps I got, I got the extra large size. I still got the wig caps and I put it on the head. Then I took some of the T-pins and pinned the cap into place. It smells so bad in here. Ugh, okay. I set my alarm for 2.20 so when that rings I'm gonna go check on the hair and check if the knots are like nicely bleached. I might just wash it anyway. In the meantime, I guess I can start on sewing the west together just to like save some time. So I'm gonna get my sewing machine. So here's my sewing machine. It's a singer sewing machine. A lot of people said that you should use nylon thread but this is all I have so I'm gonna just use this. So again, here is another look at the hair. It is so nice and silky, but I took the first track, put it together and started sewing. Of course, you want to backstitch like always and I sewed all the way down. Okay, my laundry is ready, so I'm going to finish sewing this and then I'm going to go wash the closure and come back and show you guys what it looks like. So here are the knots. They are not that bleached. I definitely should have left it on for longer, but at least it didn't bleach the roots. So I think I'm fine with this. This is going by way faster than I thought it was going to be. I'm surprised. Am I kind of good at this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So for the lines, we're going to just use this white eyeliner pencil. I'm not going to start right here at the band. I'm going to start like right above it just a bit and then draw straight across. Oh my gosh, it's uneven. Oh crap. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Jeez. <sighs> wait, the pencil's already like dull. So I'm going to try and get a Sharpie. I don't have the silver metallic Sharpie. I have a gold one. So I'm gonna go for the gold one. That's right, girl. You better go for the gold, Miss Olympian. Anyway, I got my gold Sharpie and did the lines. It was not straight. Listen, there's a reason why I don't draw no more. It's because I'm not Picasso. Just not realizing I should probably sew the closure onto the wig cap already. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna continue drawing the lines. Guys, this is already such a freaking mess. Um, My lines are like not straight at all, but it's fine. So when positioning the closure, I made sure to pull it down a little bit so that it's covering the band. Then I took my T-pins and placed it on very, very tightly. So I'm gonna take my J-pins and then the thread that came with the wig head and start sewing it together. Hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing to see how to sew. I forgot what kind of stitch this is called. I'm so sorry, but they say it in the other videos that I watched. So I'll link those down below for you guys to check those videos out too. We'll watch them after this video, please. And thank you. <laughs> 
Okay guys, I finished drawing my lines. Not the straightest, but it's better than nothing. Also, I finished sewing down the closure. So yeah, I think it's time to start sewing. Also, you wanna make sure to cut off this little part of the wig cap on the inside and cut it as close to the closure as you possibly can without cutting the closure, so be careful. But once you cut that little part off, it should look like this on the inside and then you're ready to sew on the wefts. So I took the wig cap and positioned the line underneath the presser foot and then placed the weft on top and started sewing. Again, you want to backstitch just to make sure that it stays nice and straight. Then take your time to slowly sew the wefts down on the line. It's very, very important that you make sure that the weft is on the line and the lines are your guide. So you want to make sure you're following the guide. So once I finished sewing that line, I just cut off the thread and then cut off the end of the hair and started on the other line. You can just fold it over and start sewing again, but I prefer to just cut it to make sure that it lays flat. So I had finished sewing the two wefts and so I opened up the new package. I think I doubled this one and then the other one that I had I just sewed that one on singly. And also you want to make sure that you're using a zigzag stitch as you are sewing the wefts together and also sewing the wefts onto the wig cap. So yeah, once I had sewn that last weft together, I started sewing on the sewing machine. It started to get a little bit harder the closer I got to the closure, but you kind of just got to work with it and also make sure that you're keeping the wig cap straight. You don't want any bunching or anything like that that really messes up the look of the wig. Y'all come and see what my sewing machine did to me. Yo, I love fish hooks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So here I am at the top. As you can see, there's a big old gap. I don't know how that happened, but probably because my lines were not straight. So make sure your lines are very nice and even. But everyone in the videos I watched said to sew the very last track by hand. So that's what I'm doing. And here you can see how big of a gap that is. I do not know how I missed that, but it's okay. We fixed it. I just took little pieces of the leftover hair and just sewed it in there. And once I strained it, you couldn't even see the gap. Guys, I finished the wig. I know it doesn't look much right now because it's not like laid or flat ironed or even dyed yet. But oh my gosh, I can't believe I made a wig. Like I literally made a wig in it. I made a wig. This is what it looks like on the inside. Kind of bleached knot. And then each line that I sewed on the sewing machine. The hair is so pretty and silky. Look at that, bruh. The closure is not laying down flat at all. So I'm definitely gonna have to flat iron it like crazy. But I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Anyway, that is it for this part of the video. I finished sewing my wig. If you want to see how I dye it, stay tuned for next week's Saturday, which will be the next video in this series. Next time on Jocelle's Wig Transfer. I kind of feel like I should start bleaching the closure first because it's darker, but I don't really care. Here's my finish.